Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Expand your payment options on, Shop on Shopify in 2023 by integrating Flutter Wave. This comprehensive tutorial will lead you through the integration of Flutter Wave to Shopify in 2023, enabling you to offer diverse payment methods and enhance the customer experience. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first guys thing which we're gonna do is simply head up to Shopify, click on the login button and then log into our store. A very easy, really straightforward process. And then simply you will have a bunch of stores. If you don't know, you will just get in directly into your own store. And there we go. So now to integrate any app, the first thing that comes to mind is to actually go to the app section. So where can we get the app section on Shopify dashboard? Simply, as you can see here, there is this. Uh, the first thing that you'll see is set up your store. Well, no, don't go in the center of the website. Just go to the sidebar of your website, which is here. So here you'll find every single menu, which is a side menu here, as you can see. So finally, in this menu, just go to the bottom of it, not to the bottom, but the bottom of the first menu. Here you will find the apps, so click on it, and then choose the all recommended apps, and then this window show pop up for you. So this one, and then click on Shopify App Store, and then you will be redirected to the page. So this page is basically like a marketplace of apps that exist on Shopify. So simply, any app you have in mind, you want to install it, you come here to start looking for it and to install it. So for our video, we are going to install Flutter Waves. So simply get, let's, let's go here and search for Flutter. And here I'm going to add waves. And let's see if we're gonna find it. And as you can see, we couldn't really find it. And if I write like that, it is not even helping me. So what should we do to actually connect Flutter Waves to Shopify? Now if I want to use Flutter Wave, and here I went to the first website which will be appearing to me. Now, what is Flutterwave exactly? So Flutterwave is basically kind of like Shopify themselves. It is an endless payment possibility for enterprises. So what's gonna do it is like a payment getaway to be more specific. So it will not be actually into the uh, app section. It will probably be more into the uh, payment section. So how can we get to the payment section? Basically through the dashboard itself, all you have to do is go to the bottom of it. Now for the real bottom. And go to the left side bottom. And here it is this window. So this is the settings, the settings window. And here you'll find your store name and the link. Store details, plan, billing, user, and payments. So it is the fifth option. Make sure to click on it. And then simply here, all you have to do is click on manage or not manage but add the payment method so here you can search either by provider which are dozens of providers here simply just by going through this list you will find dozens of providers so in our case we want Flutterwave so to find Flutterwave exactly if you want like that and search for it that won't be a help so what we should do is click Shopify and so Flutterwave plus Shopify so first of all here, this is a guide from them themselves. So the first thing is you can't really connect through Shopify into Flutterwave. You have to connect from Flutterwave into Shopify. So we have to do everything in reverse. The first thing is by going to Flutterwave account. So we have to go to our Flutterwave. Here we can click here and simply fill this, Nigeria, etc, etc. And then we have to get our business ready to go. So we have to create an account very easily. And then here password. So let's make it work. And there we go. And then create an account. So now we have created our account on Flutterwave. Now this is not yet. Maybe they will ask us for a phone number. Well if they ask you for a phone number, well it's very easy to get a fake phone number guys. It's very available online. So here we just have to verify our email address by going to our email and then copying the code. So there we have it. And let's copy, paste it here. Now, since we are on the Flutterwave website, the next thing to do is to head up and complete the sign up process. So here I'm just going to do that and start receiving payments. Continue, which is basically the purpose of our video, is to receive payments using Flutterwave. And then here, so we have to put like some 
uh, set up your account real quick so we have to add our bank accounts etc but for now let's just cancel it so here we are on our website so here the stop the store and here we can manage our store etc 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 now let's go back here so look into your Shopify store then go to the Flutterwave app page so here it is this is as you can see the app of Flutterwave now as you can see it is not compatible why is it not compatible so if I went in here and I went and searched for Flutterwave accepted countries you'll notice that uh, the countries that actually accept Flutterwave are basically Nigeria to get an account in the first place you have to be in Nigeria or to be in one of these countries which are like as you can see there is like a bunch of them let me just search for India yep India doesn't exist in this list so basically I can't really get into Flutterwave with my website why so because if I want to store details and then I want to the business address it is in India and my website will not be accepted since I'm in India now I have to change it to anywhere else beside India so let's search for a Nigeria as an example so Nigeria and then here simply I'm just going to search for Nigeria fake address and there we have it so here just copy this one paste it here copy that one paste it there and for the state it's gonna be I think plateau so just click here P and then let's copy this zip code and there we have it so save it here we have to add a phone number let's add as an example this one and let's wait okay perfect now let's go to this page refresh and voila very easy as you can see so just click now on install and you will see why you have we have created an account uh, right now so install app and now they will be redirecting us to the, our accounts which we have created so now if they didn't like in this case simply you just have to connect it so you just have to go here so as you can see we have to get public key secret key and test public key and test secret key so here uh, click on this button to get API uh, keys I'm going to just paste here the code and log in and I will be redirected to the API uh, page so let's just wait let me just click again oh they're not working function it is not functioning well so now let's just go to this page where how to set up the showing as how to set up and yeah in here they will show us everything so it's the app and to continue it enter flutter and experience key for this guide obtain API key so we have to go and obtain the API key which is not available at the moment in the website which is very weird but overall if I went here to the settings and I clicked on API keys I will like find them very easily so there are these are your uh, API keys so this is the public this is the secret and this is the test which is the encrypted key so let me just copy it paste them both and then let me just submit it and on valid key format should be uh, it is basically the same I guess yeah it is basically the same but let me generate secret key alright let me just copy it for now again and let's see if it's gonna work so let's copy this submit it and it's still not working this is very weird guys this, this is my first time having this problem now the key looks like the same as this one but oh my bad let me just keep it like that all right now it is working so the thing is I had to remove this test I have to remove the test uh, thing so let me just remove this all right it is working and let me just copy this remove test all right this one has to be uh, like so so public key and this one secret key and there we have it so for now public key and the secret key are not totally working for some reasons 
but overall this test mode is enabled verify our account we have to verify our account first so basically yeah, these problems that you can face because so now i can't really verify my account because i don't have really an, an, a bank in nigeria but for you guys you have to be in nigeria so you can get your bank and accounts available but overall this is how we can connect both apps you just have to go to your account uh, after that settings api keys copy these and then paste them on your uh on your website so as same as i did now just for me i don't have the real api keys since i didn't verify my account since i have to be really in nigeria and have a really bank account in nigeria basically so yeah guys that was it for today's video thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial